That was irritating. You said we were going to the video store. Oh, come on. You know you had fun. We were the best ice skaters out there. I can't believe Eggman's not trying to kill us this year. It's the first holiday season that we've been able to relax. Heh <laughs> he's still sore from when we kicked his butt last year. <laughs> Jeez, Faker. This is why everyone was avoiding you at the skating rink. Ah. Why don't you just strip on? Huh? Just the usual. Thanks for digging me out of the snow, but can I go now? I was looking for someone. No way, little mister. I don't want to spend a fortune in cold medicines just because you want to play in the snow. You need to thaw out first, dude. And I've got just the recipe. This is my favorite winter treat, peppermint hot chocolate. It'll warm you up in no time. We'll handle this. Shadow, can you keep an eye on Silver for us? What? Why? I think he's trying to escape. Get back here, you idiot! No! This is important! <laughs> Let's eat up the stove, you guys! Alright, so how does this whole cooking thing work? I hope this recipe's easier than the one you did with Nucky. Don't worry! This one is quick and easy! Do we have everything? Hmm... Let me see... Two cups of milk, two cups of half and half, eight ounces of white chocolate chips, and half a teaspoon of peppermint extract. Yep, we're good to go. I brought a few more things too. These are optional, but I've got some red food coloring, whipped cream, and candy canes. If you want, you can crunch little peppermint candies on top or just use the whole candy cane. It'll make the hot chocolate extra festive. Well, we better get started before Silver climbs out the window. Okay, first let's take a medium saucepan and put it over medium-low heat on the stovetop. Next, pour in the two cups of milk and two cups of half and half. I got it! Here's the milk! And here's the half and half! Careful, not all at once! Sonic, you're getting it all over the place! Me? What about you? Hey! What's it me? Um, oh, okay. From now on, let's take turns like civilized people. Uh, <laughs> I guess we can do sure. that. Let's get the milk to a simmer, remembering to stir often. Simmer is when you heat the liquid up to a small boil, but not to a full out one, okay? It's time for the white chocolate. Hm, easy enough. Let me handle this. Just pour in the whole eight ounces, then stir until it's melted and smooth, okay? Wow, it melted so fast. Yep, meaning it's really hot, so please be careful around the stove. Okay then, once the chocolate is melted, we can add the peppermint extract. Go ahead, Sonic! Mmm, looks like this makes the whole flavor! It sure does, but peppermint is really strong, and sometimes it helps to decide for yourself how much to use. The recipe says half a teaspoon, but I want to go more subtle and use just a drop or two. I don't want to make the peppermint overpowering. Great job, you guys! Now it's time to turn it in my favorite color, pink! Just add some red food coloring and stir slowly, adding a bit more until you get the color you want. We used about 8 or 10 drops. Wow, nice color change. I think I'm liking this. Think we could turn it blue next time? Now let's turn off the stove and let this cool for just a moment. Don't let it cool off too much, though. This is hot chocolate, after all. Now here's the whipped cream. 